Hi, I'm Anita Brickman with the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization, and I'm going to be talking to you today about grief, a natural part of living. Most people are familiar with the grief that comes when somebody we care about dies, but feelings of grief may also come as a result of the end of a relationship, the loss of a job, moving from a place we love, even losses connected to serious illness or injury. It's important to remember that no two people grieve the same way. It can actually be as different as our fingerprints. Grief can come at different times, like a roller coaster full of unpredictable ups and downs. For example, something can unexpectedly remind you of a special time and a person who may no longer be with you, and those emotions can come flooding back. Some of the things you might experience if you are grieving include changes in your sleep routine, loss of appetite, fatigue, changes in mood, difficulty concentrating, or lack of enjoyment in things you used to like. Grief is not something you can just set a timeline to get over. Give yourself time to adjust to the loss in your life, particularly when you've experienced the death of a loved one. Death casts a very long shadow in the lives of the loved ones who are left behind. Hospice prepares the family for the death, encouraging communication between the patient and the family, and trying to complete some of the family relationships. This often facilitates a great resolution and acceptance of the loss and gives the patient a great deal of comfort. If your friend or loved one is experiencing grief, one of the best ways to help is to simply be with them. Don't worry about saying the right thing. That usually causes us to say just what we shouldn't. Holding a hand and lending an ear is one of the best gifts we can give to someone who's grieving. Sometimes sharing what you're feeling with somebody else can help you move forward. You should look for additional help if the effects of grief don't seem to be letting up and feelings of despair are growing worse. One of the easiest places to find help if you're struggling with grief is your local community hospice. Hospice professionals are experts at helping people cope with the death of someone they love, and many hospices offer support services to the broader community. You should never feel ashamed if you're grieving, and you should never be afraid to ask for support.